Hi, my name is Tien. I paint under the name T Wei. Um, I'm a kind of generalized artist, so I paint murals, I do um, illustration, I do fun projects like this, and just kind of make things. I work a lot with surreal imagery, so blending water and a tiger together is definitely in my wheelhouse. Each illustration was dictated by the location that it would be presented. At the railway station there was a billboard. I took it as the uh, sort of the entrance to the city and so the image is this kind of comic strip which served as an establishing shot for what you might see in the rest of the city. Start off with the moon and then it has a wave and gradually it starts to become agitated and flow from side to side and eventually at the end of it breaking out of the frame, turning into a tire and then throughout the city posters and flyers of said tiger and like across the bridge uh, on your voice key a long image with maybe five tigers sort of prancing across it freely which kind of reflects the festival and the direction that traffic moves as well. So there's sort of this legendary elder tiger, the Baihu. There's this idea that um, the white on a tiger's tail comes about when it reaches 500 years old. So the idea of a fully white tiger is just this like super old um, legendary creature that kind of guards everything. And it's supposed to be a symbol for a society that's functional and well run, maybe an aspirational imagery on the waterfront were the flags. It's kind of where the festival usually has its crescendo, where everyone gets together. The dragon dance, the lion dance, there's all the performances. It seemed like a place for an art piece. Sort of as a juxtaposition to like, almost like an advertising narrative. So what I did was I took the, the, the shape of the moon, and then I think we've all seen Alice in Wonderland, where it's the Cheshire Cat's mouth. So it creates the transition of the crescent moon opening up and getting wider, and then to the full moon and, uh, and closing back up. Yeah, and then I just tried to make it as readable as possible, given that they're flags and they're going to be waving around. Keep things simple or bold. Having an excuse to lean into researching and referencing Asian um, imagery, which I've always loved, but haven't really delved too deeply into, uh, was great. And I appreciate that. And it's probably going to have a lasting impact on um, how I approach shapes and forms and things like that. Yeah, so it adds to my own arts practice.